Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video. I've been meaning to do this for a little while. It's just basically something that we found the other day, which has been really useful in doing some render tests, but it's basically a user generated free uh, online render farm, which is really useful if your computer isn't super powerful, but I mean, really for anyone um, with any sort of computer, I think this would probably speed up your workflow quite a lot, but it's basically, yeah, allows you to use other people's computers to render your frames and other people can use your computer. And it works on like a point system. So basically you accumulate points for rendering uh, things via this client um, that you download. And uh, as you accumulate those points, it kind of changes where you sit in the priority list when you want to do your renders. So the more points you have, the quicker your renders will happen. But I mean, I, for example, like one of the tests I did was a 900 frame render and it rendered yeah 900 transparent pngs in an hour um which was great i mean obviously it depends on how intensive your animations are but yeah this sort of is a bit of a game changer in terms of like just being able to render things out test them if it's not working render out something else um and yeah as you kind of do your renders you spend your points but yeah you you accumulate points a lot faster than you spend them which is a good system so yeah, I'd say if you're doing a lot of animation stuff and you want to try things out, try try this system, it's really cool. They've been going for quite a while. I mean, you guys might have already heard of it and, and it's just new to me, but yeah, they've done, today I think they hit 150 million frames rendered, which is really cool. And uh, they've actually featured one of my renders on their thing, which is great. Um, but yeah, I was doing this video before that anyway, but it's just taken me a little while to get it out. So yeah, I'd say give it a go. It seemed to work super efficiently for me. I'm not super technical either. And, and yeah, I didn't seem to have too many problems. I had a couple of frames that rendered slightly dark uh, just because people were using different hardware. But I think out of a 900 frame render, it would maybe only be six frames where that happened. And I could just delete those frames um, and replicate the one before it or re-render them myself. Um, yeah, you can see the list of projects here. So there's always stuff going on on the site. Yeah, I'd say give it a go. Uh, it's sort of a game changer for me, I think. Yeah, let me know how you go on.